Now, the Brainerd Police Department is still asking the community for help in locating missing teenager Ayla Madsen. Madsen disappeared Saturday night after competing in the Miss Brainerd United States pageant. Our Logan Gay sat down with a concerned family member and has more on how the family is handling this tough time. Ayla, I really love you and I really miss you. What started off as a magical night at the Miss Brainerd United States pageant ended in panic as 15-year-old contestant Ayla Madsen disappeared without a trace. It's been six days since the pageant took place at the Washington Education Center and the Brainerd Police Department is still asking the public's help for any information regarding her disappearance. She's a 15-year-old white female. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, and she's five foot two and about 100 pounds. Masson's family and the Brainerd Police Department do not think any foul play is involved in her disappearance. They instead believe that she decided to run away. We really think that she's either around town with some friends or relatives or close to town with someone else that she knows. And according to the Brainerd Police Department, it was Ayla's uncle who reported her missing after she failed to come outside after the pageant. She went to the pageant performed and right after the pageant she went into the dressing room um, got under her street clothes and went out the back door and disappeared. Her family says that she has always been an outgoing child but recent events might have been the reason for her decision. Her grandpa, her dad's dad has passed away and then the day after the burial her dad passed away. So this is really a tough, a tough transition for her. The Brainerd Police Department plans to continue the search until she is found. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Ayla Madsen, contact the Brainerd Police Department. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.